Hello and welcome everybody to 47 Gaming. How's it going everyone? You guys are doing alright? You guys are checking out now, in the future, in the past, wherever it may be. Hope you're taking a chill, hope it's going alright. And as they say, all good and bad things come to an end. Let's get straight into it guys. Off-world trading company. I'm just going to give a quick guide on it, maybe just do a bit of a skirmish. Give you a bit of a lowdown of what you kind of need to look out for what's the game all about and how to progress and just go from there because i see there's not really that many updated uh, guides recently but yeah let's get into it off-world trading company just to summarize it basically you land on mars claim land mine or produce uh, resources sabotage buy stock buy out your opposing company that is very, very basic. If you like that kind of uh, micromanagement, quick thinking, price manipulation, interacting with a bit of strategy with your AI or even just multiplayer, this is probably the game for you. So we're not going to waste too much of your time, guys. I'm going to try and be a quick guide, if possible. And let's just get straight into it. You got There's different DLCs, I think. and But for now, I'm just doing it just the stock game, from what I understand. So we're going to go on to Mars. And we're gonna go through just a bit of the settings you can choose, what it actually kind of means, and go from there. By all means, you don't have to start with the settings I'm doing. I'd recommend in the beginning, possibly the map type random is kind of gonna give you a bit of a feel for the game. I tend to like larger maps just to have more space. Difficulty, I would recommend turning this down to maybe applicant or intern. Firstly, you get more money when starting and you get more claims. More claims basically mean you can produce more, you can have more spots to mine resources or generate resources. So I'd rather, I'd recommend in the beginning maybe playing on applicant or intern. I'm not, definitely not the best in the game. So there's a lot of things that maybe could be missing and there's people in the comments maybe in the future that would maybe add some tricks and tips. And please, you guys are welcome to add some tricks and tips. A lot of people have a lot of more knowledge on this game than me. Uh, you can go into your settings, you can change the speed, you can change the amount of minimal resource present. I like to just do a little bit of random uh, for both presence and minimal amount of resources. And of course, on top of that, we have colony class. They can just change the overall dynamic of the game. Because there's a neutral colony on Mars that you kind of need to apply, you need to supply with resources. So you get different types of mining, and they kind of, for example, let's just say mining, price of iron cannot drop below uh, $20. Same with aluminium and so on. They have different modifiers. Adds a lot of spice to the game. And I think it is quite nice. Uh, if you're having trouble with the game, you can always include marathon mode. Making your stock worth more. So it allows for longer gameplay. And of course, include all HQ types. I'm going to, for this time round, I'm just going to include it for this time round. Just to show you the different types of um, HQs. And what they do at the end of the day and how you can kind of select which one is best for the particular map because normally you only get four and from there you need to select the best headquarters for that particular map so i'm just going to go that looks, that everything else looks fine let's get into it basically throw you guys in the deep end and tie some rope to your feet with a heavy weight and you got to try and swim <laughs> it's going to be a crash course guide guys i uh, hope i cover everything but it's probably not possible so I'm just going to try and cover the basic to intermediate and get you going in the beginning and kind of get you a good start, if I can say it like that. So we got the transit hub, just a greater demand for fuel. We're going to start straight away. In single player, you have to scan the area out. In multiplayer, everything has been revealed. So let's go over it quickly. Uh, we're going to start at the top left. This is where you generate the amount of money, your total income. Uh, that you have, or amount of profit that you have, then you're going to have debt. Debt is accumulated. If you just hover over some of the text, it will give you a description of what it is. So you can go into debt either by doing sabotages, or for example, maybe you need to, for example, let's just use iron and steel. It's a good example. So here's iron. You need to buy iron to produce steel. Now, for example, iron, let's just say, goes up in price. This is the price over here. You need, your, your, your debt might be increasing quicker than your profits might be coming in. So there's things like that you need to pay attention to. Debt is can be very, very scary later on, especially on the harder difficulties, so keep it under control. So you've got a variety of different resources that you got. you got, you know, power, just hover, power, water, food, oxygen, fuel, all these different things. 
So I'll try and explain what users want as we go on. Next thing is you normally only have four headquarters, but in this, as you saw, I selected six. I mean, I have to review all of them, and there's six in total. I think you should hover over each of them and see which is your particular play style and see which best fits you. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a tip and tricks. From what I've um, experienced, I find these scavenger types, uh, these two types of you that use carbon for upgrading, it's carbon for in instead of steel. And these guys use silicone instead of steel because for example as i mentioned steel needs iron you need to mine the iron or buy the iron and then process it then get steel so it's a little bit slower in this game speed and being quick and changing your strategy and maybe even holding out can be quite 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 important uh, i tend to also like the robotic faction as well because they don't need life support uh, what that means is oxygen you know water so on and so forth uh, they can be quite good, but each of them have their own play style and bonuses and positive and negatives. Next is while we're on this menu, this is the build menu. When we place down a HQ, you'll see we'll be able to build the different types of buildings. We'll go over that in a bit. Patents, they add a little bit of flavor to the game. You need to build a research lab and research some of these uh, different patents. For example, get 25% of the cut from rival's debt or ships and off-world markets are powered with water if cheaper which is quite good uh yeah we got this is basically for the optimization center i'll show you that later where you can increase the production this can be very very powerful so if you're producing let's just say a lot of food and giving if you're producing 10 food and now you get 25 percent of that more 12 point you know 12.5 can stack quite a bit you know so this is quite important i feel in that regard then you get something called a hacking array, which can kind of manipulate the market in your favor. So let's just say you begin producing food, you're using the hacking array to in make sure there's a shortage, inc thereby increasing, temporarily increasing the price. Uh, from there, we can also have the special build. I would like to refer them as special buildings. Um, you have an off-world market. So from there, you can build it and ship this back to Earth, and that can give you a nice juicy profit. Um, other than that, let's go to the right side. Uh, this is basically the day every day um your prof your your debt comes in a certain percentage of your debt like could be five ten depending on your bond rate that's something i'll have to show later uh in single player you can pause and you can also do the same uh, in multiplayer as well this is where you buy out your stock you can only if you can just hover over it'll tell you more or less what you need to do so you can only normally buy out this first half and lock yourself in i could say it like that um to kind of give you a bit of a, a leeway and then the other 50 percent you can kind of buy but also your uh, opponents can buy into you so the stock i'm not really too knowledgeable on that i haven't played too many games in that regard with stock but the only way to win is to buy stock in your opponent and then buy them out like as you see a buyout price of 200k needed to buy them out but we haven't really made any profit early on next thing is the black market quite important important early on this is where you can sabotage people or slow down their work production or have a power surge to basically as time goes on you're producing resources so maybe using a power surge to stop somebody can set them back into major debt so sabotage is quite important so keep an eye on out, out eye out on it uh, next we have goon squad that can kind of protect you against enemy sabotage but for me the most most notable ones is power surge slow down strike and then of course purchasing a bribe claim and that's really important because more more cl claims you have you can produce more buildings get more income so on and so forth okay i've covered all the interface let's get into it uh i am looking for aluminium let's make our way that side so as i said i'm playing a lot of random settings uh so this could really change the dynamic of the game I might just. A scientific HQ has been founded. High levels of silicon found. The AI is just busy. Okay, the AI is busy landing. I think I might do the same. A scientific HQ has been founded. Wow. Okay. This is probably not ideal, but I'm going to place down a robotics. If you place down, you get them out of Stockholm. So I'm just going to go a couple minutes into the game for you. I'm going to play it on really, really, really so. So we can go through it. So you're going to see these prices change uh, as we as the game goes on. So you need to pay attention to it. This is why I mentioned the building menu. 
Most, almost all buildings need power. So it's normally a good idea to build some power. So for this particular run, I'm going to go for food. And the reason I'm going to go for food the moment these guys upgrade to the next level, you need life support. And life support requires water, food, oxygen, and so on. So I know they're going to do that. As robots, we don't really need, for example, food. So I'm going to go with a bit of a strategy early on to go for food. To start producing food and the reason why i'm selecting this particular tile even though it's you know what why don't you build a water pump there you'll get lots of water in um the reason why i've chosen this particular area is because let's just say food is a bad idea you can demol demolish that farm and then build a water pump there it allows you to switch some of your switch your resource what you're producing so i tend to go for areas that actually have resources on them because i can always switch out of them um, next important thing is you only got three claims over here, and here's your special buildings as I mentioned to you earlier. And here's where you upgrade your HQ, and you get new claims every time you upgrade your HQ. So you can see steel is quite important for this uh, robotics, and aluminium, and electronics. So we might manually produce steel, because it is 120 a piece. So steel needs iron and power. So we're going to maybe go do one farm, power plant, and a steel mill. And see how it go that goes from there. So I'm going to place down a solar power generator over there. Uh, it seemed a bit more. Yeah, we're playing on snail. Okay. I normally I'm playing. I normally I play on normal speed. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, way zoomier. It can be very hectic. And you get adjacency bonuses as well, but even more so for the robotic race. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit quicker. So there, the black market is online. I would like to buy this bribe claim. The reason why I'm going to force buy it is because it gives me additional additional claim early on. We're going to produce some steel here, and we might even produce another batch of steel. Great. By no means, as I said, am I good in the beginning. Or there's a lot of better people. There's the AI just going up to level 2. Level 2 gives you more claims, more resources, and you start to snowball. Just imagine throwing a snowball downhill. It starts to roll and become really, really big. Um, HQ has been upgraded. You kind of need to bear in mind that you need to buy st you stock into yourself to kind of lock. I have they have over here. They've got a lock, HQ so which basically upgraded. increases the value which you need to buy them out. So the end goal of the game is to mine resources, sell it, and buy out your opponent. As you can see, HQ has been upgraded. Uh, food is starting to rise. So is water. So we're just keeping an eye on it. Steel is starting to fall though, which is a little bit unfortunate. So you've got to keep your eye out on it because we. We're buying materials, and we need to kind of sell to keep on buying. See how we're going into debt there. So debt is very, very scary. And you got to kind of keep an eye on it under control. So where possible, we're going to upgrade as soon as we can. Oof. So fuel and oxygen went through the freaking roof. Unfortunately, I'm not producing it, so... I could... What I could do is... Um... I could, for example, demolish this building, and I want to produce fuel here. That might be a play. Normally, I wouldn't do it so early on. Oh my goodness, really, Red? You had to settle the right. Is open for Red is all the way over here, and he's, where does he settle? Right next to me. But, you know what? That's that's the nature of the game, you know? It is what it is. Uh, the black market is online again. However, we're not going to save. We're going to try and get a level 2 upgrade, if possible. Uh, we might need to sell a bit of iron, I mean steel. Wow, we're getting absolutely smashed. Uh, we might disassemble that one steel plant. A scientific HQ has been upgraded. What is... What is... Uh, another shortage of iron. Mm, we might produce some water here actually, guys. We don't have another clay. We're going to buy this. Auction coming up in two seconds. It could be a new piece a of new land. Okay. For um, what else? I don't want to take the video too long. I'm going to go just do another minute or two. Uh, so I'm going to try and play on blazing and see if we can get it that way. It might go a bit, a bit crazy. So it's going to be a little bit of a quick video. So you guys can see a little, little bit of progress. Because it can go half an hour, an hour. And I don't want to keep you here that long. Uh, I'm going to try and get another claim down, get to level 2, and kind of show you how we're starting out. It might be a bit of a slow so... start, but that's totally fine, guys. That is totally fine. They have a bit of a slow start. It's okay. 
it is okay. So there's somebody using power surges. We're gonna upgrade to level two. No, no, no. Hey, this is relax. We might buy back into ourselves simply because we don't want to get bored out. A scavenger HQ has been upgraded. Okay, he got he got level two. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. Uh, we might need to produce a bit more power. Um. Can produce fuel or we're we gonna produce water. Now we're gonna go stick on the fuel. So I'm playing on very fast, so things are gonna be happening really, really quickly. The black Water's looking pretty time. good. We're gonna buy that. An elite HQ has been upgraded. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't wanna get left behind. A scientific HQ has been upgraded. Um see I would normally put this water pump over there, but we're not gonna really get a bonus, so I'm gonna stick with fuel. Steel is looking pretty bad, so we're going to sell it and produce some more fuel. Food is looking really, really good. I'm liking the food. So we're going to pay back our debt soon. Get that under control. We've got two more. Cl we got two claims still. Uh, food is looking crazy. Yeah, damn. So this is kind of, the tutorial is over guys, I'm just showing you a mock-up game and how it kind of progresses and what you need to do. Uh, what you can do, food is normally a good provider. Now I've kind of bought myself there, so I'm kind of safe for a bit until the AI buys me out. Uh, well, hopefully I buy them out. So I might, I might actually switch. Congratulations. Yeah, 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 congratulations, thank you very much. Food, water is looking not so stable, so I'm gonna actually going to take out this here, and I'm going to produce some more fuel. Okay, we're going to build an optimization center. This is what I mentioned earlier, one of the special buildings. Uh, game is going really, really fast. Uh, now, we're going to auto-produce. Yeah, yeah, I need to tell you about that, actually. The game has a function where... It's if you're not earning profit, you're running a net negative, it will stop power and stop shipping. It will auto disable. Sometimes that can be good, sometimes that can be really, really bad. So be on the lookout. Normally I just, well, not normally, but some of the times I just ignore it and I continue to press on. So we can buy out, ooh, we can maybe buy out orange. Okay, there's even a greater shortage for Okay, whoa, there's too much going on. There's too much going on. Okay, I know it's really, really quick, guys, but I'm trying to show you a bit of a... I'm going to try and buy out one of these guys. Okay, he's been bought out. Bam, done. Say goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. Okay, water's oxygen is really dropping. We need to maybe switch to food, and we might do a little bit of that. So we're going to switch to a bit of food. Uh, water is looking mighty dangerous, actually. So I'm going to play slow the game down a bit, so just kind of show you what... So, we're Let going a lot into debt. Begin. We need to pay it off. We've got lots of claims. We need to maybe use, need to use the research center to start boosting our food production. Food is, is looking mighty fine, actually. Food is looking mighty fine. To the point where I might even snap up that water over there. Uh, I don't know why it's wanted me to go over there, but okay. Oxygen, you can kind of see how the market is increasing and decreasing. I maybe should consider going into glass, because glass is using oxygen and silicone. And silicone, is this over here, looking pretty cheap, so 60 plus 100, giving me 400, so I'm basically doubling it up. So, very, very useful. We're going to probably pay back a bunch of our debts. No, we want more claims rather, actually. More claims make equal more production. Aluminium is, is going through the roof, so we're going to go a little bit into aluminium. Um, what else? More food, maybe? Yeah, let's go more food. Uh, while we're here, we could actually go a little bit of production into electricity. Electricity is very expensive, actually. 
Okay, is there any geothermal vents around? Yes, there is, but I need 15,000. Uh, yeah, this is kind of just a mock-up, guys. You can auto-sell if you want. The debt is looking very scary. I need to start... Paying this off. And soon. Soon, very, very soon. So I need to start paying some of this off, yeah. So to the point where I might even slap down another power plant. Let's go back onto super speed. Because I know it's going onto a 20 minute video, which is I really didn't want it to go that long. And see if we can get to level, see if we can buy one more person. The game shouldn't really be played on super speed. It's a little bit uh, crazy. The black market is open for business. I'm just trying to pay my debt off, uh, because it is getting a little bit out of control. Okay, bam. So, you need to look at the market, guys. I'm going to play it on snail space so I can just give you a bit of a showdown. Okay, so we're looking pretty good. We're on number one in stock, but that's not going to really mean too much. So... You need to kind of be in, bear in mind, like, water's going up crazy now. I might even switch out of food. There's even a greater soldier, so I might switch out of food. See, these eight buildings, they're not producing anything. Nothing at all. So what I could do... I could do is literally take them, destroy them, and build a bunch of solar power. Because I see solar power is... Power is going pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I could actually produce a bit of glass right now. That actually probably could be a good switch. But silicone is on the rise. I gotta be careful of that. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit more into power, because I see it's actually going up. Bam. We can produce some water over there. And yeah, so this is kind of the game, guys. Um... I don't want 20 minutes already. Oh my goodness. Really fun, but I lost track of time. This is supposed to be a short video. I wanted it to be five minutes. Meantime, 20 minutes later, here I am. Sorry, guys. This is a lot longer than I thought. I can try and finish the game up by one or two more guys out. But the AI is pretty smashed in this situation. The only many guys I need to focus on are red and pink. But I'm pretty sure I can take and get them under control. Um, as you saw, I need to buy stock into them. So I need 500k to buy this guy out. So I can just keep on buying into him. I'll show you now, quick. New so, is available for to option. buy him out, I need 300k. Instead of 500k. So, we can just do another two more minutes. It's already, already a 20 minute video. Uh, food can... This is... Look at each each game you play is different. So food could be expensive, water could be expensive, electricity, electricity could be expensive, or glass. You need to kind of look at the market, how it's trending. You could pick up a hacking array, and that hacking array you use over here to kind of manipulate the market even more so. So I actually might do that quickly. Uh, what can I actually end up dropping? Let's just drop off this over here. We put a hacking array. We're going to speed through. And then you can kind of see what the hacking array is like. The engineers have advanced our production. Uh, aluminium tank. So we're going to go and switch to a bit of windmill over action over here. Hacking array is up. We are going to increase power production, make this another shortage. We're going to manip manipulate the market as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if possible, we'll try and buy out red, but I don't think it's possible. How much does he need? 300k. We got a free claim. Cool, cool, nice. You could build the off-world shipping, but I'm not going to in this situation. Buy out red. Thank you very much. Red is out. We can just buy out purple, and then we're done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Power is going down, so we might switch out of it. Somebody just tries to destroy our turbine, is what it is. Food is tanking, so we need to go back and produce maybe glass. Could do that. Produce some glass over here. Build off-world. Optimization routine successful. And uh, we have a hard to come by land claim. Let's get glass up and going. Uh, 
Okay, highest bidder, great. Maybe we can buy out pink. And then ba game's basically done, guys. I want to kind of wanted to show you a victory. I might as well. We made it this far, guys. We might as well keep on going. I've rushed it hugely. Forget you, man. You, I want it. Producing a lot of power, though. 24. Goodness. Okay. Sold. Oh, maybe we should switch to fuel because fuel is losing its goddamn mind, man. Prepare for pending market adjustments. Surplus, okay. Scientific HQ has been upgraded. Uh, we might switch to glass over here, actually. This power is looking not so hot. Look at power just tanked hugely. The engineers have advanced our production. Normally I would pause the game in this situation and just kind of do a rejig. Um, there's a strategy where you don't change everything the whole time. I'm just kind of hopping on, hopping off. Uh, we need 600k to buy... To buy out what you want to it. Uh, so the off-world market, guys, you can go over here and send through, let's just say, food back to the home world and you get huge profits. Huge, huge profits. Power's looking... We're not gonna totally go. In progress. Not gonna go totally all in, sell all our power, but we're gonna manipulate glass, I think. How much is this worth? 50k, 400k. We need 700k. Okay, great. Keep on going. Keep on going. Look at all the money. That is true. Look at all the money. Food is not looking so hot, guys. So we're gonna maybe switch to more fuel. Price manipulation spiking. Ah, uh, pink is dead. Goodbye, and we have one. <laughs> okay, guys, that actually turned out. I, I meant to just show you like a little bit, get you going for a guide, but here's just a very, very quick guide and a match. Probably the first five minutes is more important. You look out for the market, look at sabotage, look at the claims, look, kind of look at the area, what's going on, um, what's rising, what's decreasing. It's important to take note of it. Look at some of the special buildings with the optimization center and the off-world trading center. The game shouldn't really be plays on blazing, maybe a lot slower. Uh, the game can take a lot longer, but I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted to show you an example, because I don't know. <laughs> anyway... Um, what else can I give you for tips and tricks? The game is really good. There's a lot of different changes with the random resources, random colonies, and it can overall change the dynamic of the game. So no, not every game is the same. So for example, in this game, food and water and fuel was quite expensive and glass, but another game, electronics or silicone or carbon. And there's a different planet with different resources. So there's a lot to get used to with the dy dynamic of the game. If you like buying and selling resources, in multiplayer and single player this is probably the game for you and buying out your competition it's quite a little bit tricky to get uh, into in the beginning but once you get the basics and looking at the market what's rising and decreasing uh, and sometimes switching to it can be good however bear in mind uh, sometimes not switching is a better idea if the market crashes you buy a lot of stock and then you hope it comes back that can be a really good strategy as well uh, thank you everybody that popped in, tuned in and watching. Uh, my apologies, it was a super long. And yeah, hope you take it easy. And as they say, all good and bad things come to an end. Regards to the future. And yeah, hope you everybody takes takes care of yourself. And I'll be back with some more videos. This is 47 Gaming, signing out.